Right, so the next part of um, the chapter one in a quant quantitative research paper, um, specifically in the uh, introduction. So the next part is null hypothesis. So in uh, previous video, I have already discussed and um, given examples on um, the rationale the re and the research objectives. Okay, so again, part of chapter one, yung introduction. Uh, rationale, the research objectives, then kasunod niyan yung null hypothesis or yung sa iba, tinatawag na uh, research hypothesis. Kung isa lang research hypothesis, kung dalawa or more than that, hypothesis na ito. So, E na yan. Okay? Sa atin, isa lang ang gagawa natin ng um, null hypothesis, which is the third specific objective. Okay? So, the third specific objective um, is to determine the relationship between your variable A and your variable B. So, in this case, in, in this example, we have social media addiction and buying behavior. So, sa null hypothesis, uh, we have um, an intro statement, okay, an opening statement. So, sabi, the following null hypothesis was formulated and tested at 0 0.5 level of significance. Ano yung 0. Point, uh, Oops, this is not 0 0.5. This this should be 0 0.05 because it's supposed to be 5%. So, yung 5%, kung i-write uh, natin yan into, express natin into decimal form, ang 5% is just 0 0.05%. Okay? So, again, this is 0 0.05%. Uh, I'm sorry, 0 0.05 level of significance. Right? So, um, bakit 0.05 ang uh, gagamitin natin? Because we are under social sciences. So, um, usually pag social science, we use 5% five, uh, 5 margin of error or 5% level of significance. So, that's 0 0.05 level of significance. That's our alpha, alpha value. So, ang null hypothesis natin, ito yung notation for null hypothesis. So, that's H sub O. Null hypothesis and uh, number one because this is number one or the only um, null hypothesis uh, that we have. So again, yung third specific objective lang. So we want to prove, uh, we want to determine if there is a relationship or significant relationship between social media addiction and buying behavior. So yung null hypothesis would be the opposite of that. Okay, what's the opposite? Uh, that there is no significant relationship between social media addiction and buying behavior among senior high school students. Okay? Or kung ano yung population niya dito. So again, your null hypothesis is that there is no there is no significant relationship between variable A and variable B among your population. Right? And kasunod ng null hypothesis is the scope and delimitation. Scope and delimitation. So, what is that? The scope and the delimitation, um, it tells the readers the scope of your study. Saan lang? Saan ang limit niya? Hanggang saan lang siya? And uh, you may also tell your readers the, uh, the problems and the challenges that you encountered when you conducted the study. Okay? So, again, scope and delimitation, hanggang saan lang ang scope ng study mo? And hanggang saan lang ang limit niya? Ano yung hindi covered ng study mo? Ano yung hindi kasali sa study mo? Ano yung mga problems and challenges na na-encounter mo when you conducted the study? So, this is an example of a scope and delimitation um, from a previous study, uh, from a study conducted last year, senior high school. So, let's take this for example. This is on um, internet addiction and buying behavior of senior high school students. So, the general purpose of this study was to determine the relationship of social media addiction and buying behavior among senior high school students. The respondents were given the same questionnaire to answer. Additionally, this study focused on the senior high school students in a private secondary school in Barangay Ilang of the present year 2019-2020. O dito, dinescribe niya lang kung saan banda ang school. But we are not allowed to disclose uh, the uh, name of the school because of Data Privacy Act. So, hindi natin pwedeng ibigay kung ano, 
kung ano pangalan ng school talaga. So, pwede natin ibigay ang location. At saka, uh, maganda dito, ito yung scope ng study niya. So, yung mga estudyante lang na present nun sa school year 2019-2020. Okay? At saka, senior high school din siya. Yun yung mga um, isa sa mga scope ng study niya. So, it delimits it that the study may not be as sufficient as it needs to be since there was only a short period of time. So, yun yung uh, naging challenge sa study na ito kasi um, yung, yung uh, time frame na binigay sa kanila is very short. Okay. So, sabi dito, um, there was only a short period of time given in conducting the study. Inadequate time frame, sabi niya, greatly contributes to the overall out- outcome of the research study. Okay? So, another example of scope and delimitation is this one. This is also taken from a study conducted last year by senior high sc- by the senior high school students. So, um, internet addiction ito at saka sleep reduction. So, this study focused on the relationship between internet addic- addiction and sleep reduction of senior high school students. Specifically, senior high school students. Oh, ayan. Um, redundant na siya, no? Siguro, ano ito? Sleep reduction of uh, senior high school students. So, nag-period na sana ito dito. Wala na itong specifically kasi redundant na. So, this study needed a larger number of sample from different grade levels in order to use inferential statistics. Um, furthermore, the researchers only had small amount of time for the study, which may have caused this study to be conducted in a rush. Hence, there is a possibility that the data would not be perfectly accurate and has bigger chances that the respondents may not have answered the questions seriously that would lead to inconsistent data. So, um, that's one of uh, their challenges, major challenges that they uh, encountered when they conducted the study. Okay? So, that's it for uh, the scope and delimitation. Kasunod ng scope and delimitation is the review of related literature. But we are going to discuss that that in our next meeting uh, sa next video na naman so ang output for this lesson um, you should have your um, rational research objectives um, null hypothesis and the scope and delimitation uh, by next meeting Okay. so uh, type it in word save it as pdf file and yung pdf file ang submit sa akin so I can um, make corrections on your output. Okay, again, the deadline is on our next meeting.